Hi everyone and welcome back to Easy Cooking with Linda B. Today I have a very special guest. This is my friend David and he's here to show us how to make keto magic cookies and he's going to show you how to prepare them. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is one quarter cup coconut oil. We're going to melt that in the saucepan. Okay. And we have three tablespoons of butter. And I use Kerrygold. You don't have to, but it's uh, uh, grass-fed cows. And it has a lot of extra omega-3s in it than your regular butter. And they live in a pasture year-round, and they're fed 95% grass. So it's really good butter. Oh, well, that's good to know. I have to look into that. Yep. Okay, Dave. So once I melt this, then what do we do next? Then we're going to put that into the bowl with four egg yolks. And look how orange those are. Because I use pasture-raised eggs. Now, uh... Vital is the only brand that's available to me, but you can get them anywhere. Uh, and I use pasture-raised uh, eggs because it's just what they say. They live in a pasture year-round. They eat grass. They eat uh, flowers. They eat bugs. So, again, omega-3s are significantly higher than uh, your other eggs because those chickens live in barns and they don't get the sunlight. They don't get the the fresh foods, pasture eggs, way to go. Okay, good, that's good to know also. You'll be learning a lot in this segment, I'll tell you. Dave's a pro, he's been doing keto, how long have you been doing keto now? Mm, probably four years now. About four years, yeah. And he has the energy of a 20 year old now. <laughs> I know I should strive for that myself. And the hair of an 80 year old. <laughs> oh, stop. Okay, so the butter and the coconut oil is now melted, and we're going to pour it into the pan. Okay, good, get that out of the way. Yep. And then what I do is I oh. add my eggs. You wanted, oh, you want, all right, do you want me to whisk? Yeah. Now he put in the four eggs. Yep. And just look how orange those yolks are. Okay, so we're going to mix this until everything is combined very well. We want to keep it moving because the butter and the coconut oil was hot. So we don't want to scramble our eggs. Right now we're looking really good with that. Yep. Okay, Dave, so what's next? And then we add three tablespoons of granulated swerve. That's this right here. And then we add, uh, what is it, half a teaspoon, it calls for kosher slope, but again, I use Himalayan sea salt, uh, just a better salt in my opinion. Okay, honey, and now what next? That looks pretty well mixed. That's, that's well mixed, yep. Okay. So then we have three quarter cups of coarsely chopped almonds, you can use whatever uh, nut you like. Beautiful. Okay, Let's mix that in. Alright. And then we have one cup of unsweetened coconut. That's this here. here. Now if you want to make these cookies not keto, you can just use regular sweetened uh, coconut flakes. You want to make sure you get the coconut completely coated, which that looks pretty good right there. All right, honey, and what's And the next? last thing we add is the chocolate chips, only because you don't want to mix them too much. I use Lily's dark dark baking chips. Uh, they're pretty low in, in sugar. And again, if you want to make these non-keto, you can use any chocolate chip you like, or even white chips, doesn't matter. Okay, then, Dave, what do we do next now? Once it's combined looking really good, uh, we just take our scoop and scoop them into 
the, uh, the mini cups. Which I have lined here in this muffin tin. Okay, David, how does this look? Why don't you um, mix it and see how it feels consistency-wise yep. for you? That's good. Now we are going to scoop these magic bars into our mini cups. And that's a one and a half tablespoon scoop? Yeah, one and a half tablespoon. Yeah, it works out pretty good. Oh, is that okay, Dad? Yep. I'm not filling it too much, No, because okay. this, will, this will fill all of them. Okay. And if you prefer traditional flat cookies, you can use a baking sheet with parchment paper on it and use a little bit bigger scoop and make your individual flat cookies. I prefer the little cups. And we'll put these in the oven, 350 preheated for eight to 12 minutes, depending on how your oven runs. Good. So now we're gonna put it in the oven and we'll show you what they look like when they are done. Okay, so we pulled these out of the oven and they went for about 11 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah. And that's, that's how you like them, just golden brown, but they gotta cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before you can start handling them to pop them out of their tin. So we put these in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, just to harden them up enough to take the wrappers off. Because if you wait too long, the wrapper is really gonna to stick to this and it's gonna be a real pain. Okay, and now the taste test. He's had these, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Mm. Oh, these are great, Jay. Yeah, they're, they're good. Oh my goodness, these are wonderful. These are awesome, Dave. Thank Great. you very much. I'll I list, like them. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'll list the recipe in the description box below. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video of my friend Dave making these beautiful Keto Magic cookies. They really are great. They taste wonderful and they're healthy for you. So I want to thank you all for watching. Remember, enjoy life and never stop learning. Bye now. See ya. Hi everyone and welcome back to <laughs> Nice bite size. Boy Tucker, you really want to be a part of this video, don't you? So I hope you enjoy that.